Welcome back, attractive and well-educated watchers, to a brand new episode of the Patreon I here on RimWorld. Last time we left off, we had a bit of a struggle session for a little bit, but we are finally getting back to it. We're planting some oak trees. We uh, we got our fridge done. We're getting more bedrooms done. Uh, Hazel Wolf is having a hard time, but well, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Um. <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay. So, yeah, if you're excited to see what happens today, remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, go down to our Patreon via that link tree link in the description. Pledge even just $1 a month to help support the cause and join the mighty mighty ranks of all of the people in the credits. And get your name in the game. That's right, this game, because we name our colonists after patrons. We're getting our new bedrooms done. Pretty soon we're gonna cycle people out to them. It'll be nice. We're going to... Hold that open anytime it's used. Ooh, we're liking where this is going, though. They'll have to, uh, grind this area down to continue working. We leave these open, by the way, so that Jerk can go in and grab more marble chunks and make them into more marble blocks. As he is doing here... Jerk, uh, is apparently really, really good. Non-super- okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, he's treated very well. Uh, he gets lavish meals, he, people talk to him, uh, he just has to work. Fortunately, he's pretty- he's getting pretty good at it. Bet new beds are being made. Oh, new beds are being made. This will be your room. This will be Fisher Pond and Sketchy's room. Good. Now we're talking the actual, like, real deal palace complex is getting made. Not really a palace complex. It's it's more of like a like a military barrack complex or something. You know, hide away. Hey Sarah, can you do us a favor? Oh. Oh, right. Okay, whatever. There was a master work bed? Well, we mean, we... We think that, tier, or that Hazel Wolf should have that master work bed. We mean, she made it. Yeah. Beat number four. Hazel Wolf, you are more than welcome to change that shit over. So that you can say, when it happens, that this is officially your bed. We'll allow it. Yes. <laughs> Sorry if our dog barks. One moment. No bark. No bark. Go to bed. Go to bed. All the way. Good girl. Sorry about that. Our dog felt the need to start boofing. She is not much of a boofer, but when she boofs, it's very, very loud. And we don't want that to happen on... Uh... No. No bark. No. This placed here so that when the time comes, 
Hazel Wolf will have her own masterwork thingy. Because she made it. She should. Figured because that they were reversed. They Yeah, you know, you know how it is. Uh, what's it look like down here? Only three. That's fine. It's more important that we produce food first, we suppose. As long as it's taken care of. All is well enough. We just wish the robots would be a bit smarter in their planting procedure. That would be nice. But what can you do? Ermagracious 5C. Seriously, if you get any more, I mean, that's where they're going. Guys, 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 we have an idea. How about... You just mine the frickin' marble. A huge revelation. We know. What did we just say, Fisher Pond? Gracious. There we go. Alright, so when the walls are officially put up in what is probably not going to be too terribly long. Yes, sir, yes, sir, three dags full. We'll have it. Logic, we got to keep the door open on your room for a little bit. Sorry. Right. We know it sucks, but it's just how it's got to be for now. Oh, nice. Still a well-oiled machine up in here. That's what we like to see. The faster we can get all the basic fields done, the faster we can start planting trees. Oh, and would you look at that. Building other things. Starting to get our, uh, yeah, we've got our, we've got our, uh, defenses set up. Water is kind of a defense. It's not a great defense, but allow us to shoot people from far away. That's nice. All right. Things are still going pretty okay. Like, really okay. Jerk is stubborn in his faith. We'll, we'll, we'll give him that. But we are wearing them down. Slowly but surely. We're wearing them down. What? No, you must be on... Are we doing... Are we doing green? No, purple, purple. You must be on purple. A boom rat. All right, what do we got here? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna clear all chunks only. Boom, that'll work. Yeah, so, so fool won't have to go so far. Do a little automation here. 
No, stop the whining, baby. She is being... I believe the technical term is obnoxious today. Uh, but it's fine, we still love her. She's our baby. Alright. Yeah, as soon as Jerk wakes up, this will be a much faster affair. Yeah, I know we have to do it that way. Okay. Jeez, those lavish meals, easy come, easy go, are we right? Well, he's just a kid. Try not to think too terribly much about it. But he's almost seven years old. He's getting... He's hes becoming a young man. He's getting close to becoming a man. Ah. Oh. Lay down all the way. Oh, uh, Taro's going nuts. Open up all these doors. No, actually, that's not necessary anymore. The hauler will uh, bring everything from everybody else's rooms. As you can see, Jerk will just take from the stockpile. Therefore, he will be more accessible. His materials will be more accessible. Everything will be more accessible. And that's good. Very good, actually. Alright. What's up with logic? Oh, dear. Poor kid, he's just... I'm having a great time with life. He hears about all these things. Oh, yeah. Uh, Thrumbo? Thr Thrumbo? No, Mega Sloth. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Thrumbo's doing good work, though. He's doing good work. Jeez, do we need more? Lay down. Lay down. Sorry, she's... Oh my god. She's being horrible today, is what she's being. Like, we love our dog. We really do love our dog. She's just, there are times when she can just be so obnoxious because we aren't paying attention to her right now with all of our attention forever and have another person around to help her do it too. You know, uh, because two hands aren't enough. And then there's that, there's that thing where she really just doesn't care what you're saying. If you she really just doesn't care what you're saying if uh if you're not like angry with her. You know, we, we keep telling her vets like, no, you have to speak with authority around her, or she will literally walk all over you. She's a hundred pounds, she's an eight month old, or she, she's like a nine month old now. She's a hundred pounds, though. Like, she's a gigantic freak dog who will literally walk all over you if you don't, like, slap her in the face and tell her, no, down, you, 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 you down right now. Uh, you know, she, she, uh, 
She doesn't actually do very well if you treat her affectionately when you give her commands. She just won't listen to you. She'll just literally walk all over you. And we're, we're and that's typical of her breed. Uh, that that is actually like specifically on her breed list. Like you, they're they're livestock protection dogs. They they don't. You know, she's uh, she's weird. She wants our affection all the time and our verification all the time forever. But we suspect she got that from her mom. Her father, because uh, we, we met both of her parents, uh, her father doesn't care. He, he doesn't care what you say or do or anything like that. You have to you have to physically move him if you want him to do anything. Otherwise, he uh, he's a pretty independent dude. So, uh, yeah, yeah, Mooney, but... but in in her breed, in, in the Great Pyrenees breed, you know, it's it, a lot of people are all like, when you give a, a Great Pyrenees a command, it's it's more of a suggestion, not a not a not an order. And like, we've worked really really hard to get Moon Girl over that, because uh, she she does have a bit of that problem. So the whole entire house, the whole farm, works really really hard to reinforce good training methods and. And like we're all very we're all very serious if either her or her brother does any backsliding or anything like that because they can just they can basically lose all respect for you like in a day we guess. What's your plants like? Jeez, why are you so bad? Hi me. What the hell's a hi me? What is... Where is the... Awful plants? Rough! Rough! Oh, jeez. No wonder it's taken you so long to... Wow! You're struggling, son! Jeez! Gracious! Normally she passes out when we sit down in front of the computer, so we don't know what's on her today. There's a wolf. Stop meditating. Start smoking some weed. Soon, logic. Soon. Why are you unhappy? It's cold. All right, let's try that. Oh, I made some more oaks. All right. Yes. Dude is almost done with the farming. All right, now we're now he's getting. So we are getting some oaks every now and then. There, there is like an a direct oak counter. Like oaks are being planted. It is technically only a matter of time until we get until we get something. Oh, we're building the we're building more bridge. Right, right, because we wanted to get that taken care of. Not exactly what we were thinking, but okay. That is... Are, are you serious? Well, I mean... These guys will literally just kill us. Yeah, no, okay, no. So we can't actually do this. 
We're going to go back and load uh, autosave 4, whatever that is, and we're going to end up today's episode because our dog is being completely inconsolable and, and we don't, we really don't feel like having to just take ten, every 10 seconds, go tell her to lay down again and stuff. So if you liked what you saw here today, despite our whiny, most independent of all dogs, uh, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, do all those other lovely things that help support the channel. Go on down to our Patreon, pledge even just one dollar a month to help support the cause, all that good stuff. Have a great day. Stay safe. Bye.